So, um, as most of you probably know, um, I am pansexual. Um, I went under the guise of being, or the title of being bisexual for about... Five years, five years, four or five years, from seventh grade until the start of my senior year, or the end of my junior year, so about four or five years. Um, bisexual, the Wikipedia textbook definition, bisexual is the romantic attraction or sexual attraction or behavior towards male and females. The term, term is mainly used in the context of human attraction to explain romantic or sexual feelings towards men and women. Yeah, so men and women. Um, pansexual's textbook definition of pans, um, Wikipedia's textbook definition of pansexual or omnisexual, a lot of people call it that. It's more commonly known as pansexual, though, um, is a sexual attraction, sexual desire, or romantic love, or <laughs> emotional attraction towards persons of all gender identities and biological sexes. Um, Self-identified pansexuals may consider pansexuality a sexual orientation and refer to themselves as gender blind, asserting the gender and sex are insignificant or irrelevant in determining whether they will be sexually attracted towards ever. Um, the Oxford English De Dictionary defines pansexuality as not limited to or inhibited in sexual choice with regards to gender or activity. Um, so, basically, um, being bisexual means that you like men and females. You know, Men and women. There we go. Um, being pansexual means that you like everyone. Um, it's when you look at someone, you don't see them as being a male or female. Because a lot of the time, when you're walking down the road and you see someone, there's a lot of people that don't look what they are identified as gender roles. Like, there are not to be offensive, but there are dykes, and then there are very feminine males where they look very feminine, <laughs> and women that look very manly. Um, so when you walk down the road, you see someone, and the first thought to most people is, oh, is that a male or a female? Or, oh, they're a very attractive male, or they're a very attractive female. And to me, it's, oh, it's a nice-looking person. It doesn't matter what their gender is. It doesn't matter what they claim their gender to be. Um, a lot of bisexual people won't date transgenders because I don't I don't really know why. I think it's kind of silly. Um, that's a big difference with pansexual and bisexual. Pansexuals, you're free to be with any type of gender-defined person. Um, yeah, I guess. The best way to say is that you're gender-blind. You don't have a, per a preference. So who it is that you're with. Um, I know someone who is pansexual and also asexual. And asexual means that you just you don't like sex. Period. End of story. I mean, you can be attracted to people and you can say, oh, I love this person or I love that person or whatever, but you're just not interested in sex. Um, I have a friend that's pansexual and asexual, and uh, I think that's kind of boring. Most people like sex. Um, but pansexual is basically gender blind. It means that you are free to love all types of people, um, all gender defined people. Um, I think that a lot of people make their gender too much of a big deal. Like there are alpha males that are just like, oh my god, I'm a dude, check me out. And it just, I think that's silly. Because it doesn't matter if you're a dude. It doesn't matter if you're a girl. It's not... Your gender shouldn't define who you are. I mean, I'm obviously a female, but if I was a male, I'd probably still do everything different. Or everything the same, not everything different. I'd probably do everything the same. Um, 
probably dress the same. My hair would probably still be the same. I mean, my voice might be a little bit deeper, maybe. I don't know. But other than that, nothing would be different. I would still be me. My name might be different. Um, my face might be a little bit different. But I would still... It would still be my heart and soul just inside a different body. And to me, I don't think that gender should matter. I don't think... Um, I feel bad for transgender people because it must be awful to be born in one body and feel like you're trapped. And that's not really the body that you were meant to be in because your your brain and your heart is one way and your body is a different. And that that must feel suffocating. I couldn't imagine what that would feel like and I feel really bad. But I don't think that people should make such a big deal out of what their gender is. I don't really think that gender matters because... When I fall in love with someone, I mean, I'm in love with someone right now. I've got a significant other and such. But I I don't think that one of the big pieces to it should be what their gender is. I think it should be what their interests are. Like, I like art. I want someone who, even if you're not into art, will tolerate my artsy fartsy self. I mean, I don't want someone that's just like, oh, art shit, and has no interest in it. I want them to at least be able to accept who I am. And if you can accept who I am and love the person that I am and not the body that I'm in, then you're a keeper. So, yeah. Pansexual is gender blind. You don't care what their downstairs parts are. You care about what's in here. So, yeah. Pansexual, bisexual differences. My cat's pansexual. I don't know if she is. Yeah. That's the difference between pansexual and bisexual. I am pansexual. So, now you know. Okay. Bye.